back at my favorite place in the whole entire world which is the Goodwill Outlets and I literally say this every single intro but I do have to say it because there's always new people a Goodwill outlet is not like a regular Goodwill so there's no fitting rooms nothing's like on racks it's literally just big bins just filled with stuff and like every 20 minutes they come out and they replace it depending like where you are I'll put the address of where I always go and yeah we're just gonna get right on into this haul Here we are, yes, and I dragged him along, my beautiful, beautiful ass. Yo, that was really annoying, I'm sorry. And then this is what the inside looks like. Also, everything here is by the pound, so it's like a dollar and 54 cents per pound of clothes, and you just look through all of this stuff. This cute, a buttonette. I just wish that it had like the longer sleeves. There are so many basic pieces here as well, like this white little turtleneck, this amazing lingerie little a nightgown. You guys know I'm a hoe for these. I wear them literally as shirts, as dresses, but lately I've actually been wearing them to bed. Like I've been trying not to wear t-shirts. Last night I wore like my cheetah one that I actually got from the outlet, and I don't know, I just feel more bougie when I wear them to bed. A polo tee with the cutest little dog. I always see this brand, like the little big dogs. It's always at the outlet. Even at the outlets, I found cowboy boots. Again, I don't know what it is in my area, but I always find the cowboy boots. They are dirty, and this is, I can tell, like actual suede. And these are like sturdy ass boots. It is a vinyl belt. It has like a pink tint to it. But can we talk about this suit right here? I am obsessed with wearing suits over graphic tees, like sweatshirts, anything like that. This top, are you kidding me? The most prettiest little butterfly. This would be so perfect for the 4th of July. Even though it's months away, like you just crop it, have a little boob action, under boob action going on. Everybody needs a perfect little black bag. It's dogs doing yoga, but there's obviously stains right here, but you could easily just like rip that up. A little side note, the amount of Victoria's Secret stuff like that I always find here is insane because at regular thrift stores, they'll price this at like $18 versus here you could get it for like literally 20 cents. Another teenage little Ninja Turtle shirt. I definitely have this exact same one up on my Depop currently. These light pink skinny jeans, are you kidding me? They're definitely a little bit too tight. Like I can tell that's like, even if I were to try it on for you guys, it would not fit. But oh, all of this detailing right here. This fringe, honestly kind of good. This shade of blue is not picking up on camera, but it's so pretty. It matches actually my hair color, but it is like dirty like on a lot. Also the back is exactly the same i actually always find wedding gowns here look at this it's huge it's like one of the princessy ones they're putting new stuff out and they're even putting sheets on it this time which they've never done because people are literally psychopaths here and will like push you just to get the good stuff and would you look at that just as i was talking to the camera guys i just found some juicy guitar velour sweats oh in love with this cutest little corset they don't just have clothes they always have like a bunch of random stuff and this are you kidding me is so sick like just even as a display like this selena one as well there's so many cool things like if you really look through all of it i'm just gonna show you guys everything that i didn't get so this pink little windbreaker honestly the colors on this are so pretty but as you can see there's just like a couple of dirt stains all throughout which to be completely honest i would never care but a lot of people do when it's really light stuff so i'm gonna put that one back also this really cute like hawaiian tee i love the little buttons on it they're wooden and it kind of has like a crop feel to it also underwear so i'm not even showing you guys this in like a proper way because obviously they don't have hangers or anything like that and then i am gonna toss this leather jacket as well i have like i think two up so far so that's why i'm not gonna pick it up but this is in really good condition but i think this is what kind of throws me off like i wish it was just all leather and then i also picked up this little crochet thing crochet is another trend that i'm going to be talking about in one of my upcoming videos but okay what is going on see i'm just the worst i can't even show you guys properly but this is like a cut off one so i don't think it's like as cute to be honest but it does have these little curls on it if this was white i would probably get it and then these nike just sweats little like skateboarding pants but they have a couple tears all throughout and it also has this little camo on the back 
and then again these Wranglers I find so many Wranglers and Levi's and everything at the outlets if you guys are ever looking for some definitely check out the outlets because I find so many and then this Calvin Klein tea pretty basic I'm not gonna really pick it up I think just the colors are kind of throwing me off and same with this so it's just a Levi's one but it looks just kind of tacky like not as cute as like the original Levi tees and then this heavenly little long sleeve I'm upset I do not want to put this back I think this is so cute but it has a bunch of as you can see tears all throughout the shirt and then the last thing that I'm going to put back is just this USA little tee and I believe this is Polo by Ralph Lauren. I feel like I say this every single time, but I am so sorry that I did not get like as much thrifting footage I feel like as I should have because like an hour into it It was so incredibly busy and like there were so many people exactly like me that were looking for like the sim like same styles So I didn't have really have a chance to like whip out the camera because they were literally like bringing new bins out like every 10 minutes Which usually as you guys know like how I said in the beginning It's like every 20 25 minutes like just like depending when might have been because I was there in the morning on a Monday I honestly have no idea, but there's a lot of people there and yeah That's just my long-ass excuse as to why I didn't have that much thrifting footage all this stuff is not gonna be up on my Depop right away so if you do see anything that you do like just go ahead and message me through depop and i'll just create the post for you and all of that but we're just gonna start with this Jimi hendrix t-shirt i literally just sold something like this but it was brown it was honestly like the same similar style except this one is a lot more baggier as you guys know i love a good baggy tee that's literally where i get all my t-shirts i actually say that in every single thrift haul but th like this harley t-shirt got it from the outlets i find the best graphic tees there this cowboy up one i just thought was really cute um i'm not really sure of the brand on this one it doesn't really say but i just liked the colors on it and everything you could crop it if you want always find like little nike long sleeves but this one is just like a little bit more cuter like there's like the nike that kind of looks tacky and then the nike that is kind of okay if that made any type of sense this t-shirt oh it's so cute so it says 17 cats on the front steps of 82 maple street i have no idea what that means but it has the cutest cats on it and i don't know i felt like i had to have this in my life i'm probably gonna keep this for myself this O motocross tee it's ventura county i'm not sure if this is like a store or something but i kind of liked the vibe of it just any black graphic tee i love especially again if it's oversized i picked up another santa cruz tee for you guys i don't know if you seem to like them and it's like a nice little burgundy color now this tee i will be keeping for myself i love it this is probably the coolest tea that i found mainly to do with the fact that there were like five guys there that were literally scrambling to get all the t-shirts so i didn't really want to fight them for the t-shirts so i kind of just let them have it but i did find this american chopper one my exposure is freaking out but i really loved the back of it the bike and everything this would have been really nice to have because i just went to harry potter world in universal studios and it's just this gryffindor tea would have loved to have this when i went there now this tea i can't decide if i'm going to keep for myself or not because it's this Budweiser tee but it's in the shape of like a cow skull this is so cute there's literally nothing else on it except that small little logo but still extremely cute I picked up three of the same shirt it's something that I don't usually do I only did it once with the munchies tee but anything Disney seems to sell like always sell like you guys like to see that I feel like that's a lot of like the people that shop my shop so i did pick up three they're literally the same and it's just this one that says i'm with goofy and i thought that was just i don't know it's really cute it's like a simple gray tee again amazing if you want to go to disneyland because disneyland merch is so expensive but this is a medium and then i got one in an xxl so double xl and then a small so the only one i don't really have is a large and an extra large but i thought they were cute they're in like pretty good condition some of them have like a little bit like tears like this one has a tear right here and i think some tears yeah some tears at the bottom i usually don't pick up obey but i like it when it's like the simple logo like very muted not a lot going on and this tommy hill figure just red tee not really a graphic but it does have like a little bit of the logo on it now this shirt i 
hope one of you guys will appreciate it because I thought about putting it back but I was like no I was like I have to pick it up for you guys of course it's just this classic you know tea and then the back has like the tour I'm not sure is this a tour date exactly yeah so this is definitely like like some type of a tour and then I got another cut off you guys know I'm not really into like these muscly tops just like alone it makes my arms look weird uh, obviously because this is usually just for big beefy men that ride motorcycles but I think they're really cute with like a um like sheer type of shirt underneath like a sheer cheetah long sleeve or something like that even though it is getting a little bit like summer but it's this Orange County again choppers tee I loved the little dog on the back this what is the, the victory motorcycles I've never found a victory shirt so I thought that was pretty cool and then the last tee that I found is this Looney Tunes one but it's cool because it's like Echo it's, they had a um, collab with Echo Unlimited so just really brings me back to the early 2000s as for the tops I don't get like as lucky as if I were to just go to a regular thrift store but sometimes I do find some really cute pieces starting with this really pretty like lace one it has like that halter I don't know why I'm trying to do that you guys will see it in the try on but just kind of that classic early 2000s it reminds me of something that Rachel McAdams would wear in some Mean Girl movie. This Fredericks Hollywood little lingerie top. But of course, you guys know I wear these as shirts. If it fits, I'm probably going to keep it for myself. I just love to hoe out, especially in the spring. It has just like that see-through at the bottom. This corset type of top. I mean, it's not really a corset, but it's kind of fitted like one. I'm not sure if it's going to fit me. It might look a little bit too small but it has this like satin silk material and I don't know I just thought it was so cute it has little diamond buttons and it's just perfect for summer you could this honestly would be really cute as like a suited look like if you have suit pants and just really make it like sexy I did pick up two tie-dye tees now I keep talking about my swing trends video and it's still not up I promise it is coming but again I keep talking about tie-dye and it's something that I used to hate but now I'm really drawn to it of course I'm just a trend whore so that's just how it happens but I found this just basic OP is it OP yeah just OP Walmart brand tank that I think is obviously like eh, but I'm gonna crop it and make it very like booby and I think it would be very cute like over a swimsuit or something like that this one right here was like I thought about like putting down but I was like no because I really like the style of this shirt how it kind of ties it was just the colors that made me like mm, and mainly the colors I don't like it's because they remind me of a high school that's near me which is Del Campo but I just think again this could be so cute it really reminds me like the style of it of like an early 2000s the only thing that sucks is the strap is kind of like messed up i don't know if you guys can see that but it's still really cute shirt i got one turtleneck just like one last time i couldn't pass this up because again the colors on this are amazing it just reminds me of like ice cream i don't know why like a strawberry chocolatey ice cream and these are just again really cute to put with like a lacy you could wear like a lacy top over this and then the last top that i got i had to get i was like oh this is so cute and it's just this button up and it has the little flames on it you know got a little guy fairy action on it did i, did I really just butcher his name guy fairy i can't say his name right if you watch my hauls at all or anything you guys know that i am obsessed with velour tracksuits no matter what i always find at least a couple at no matter literally what thrift store I go to even if I'm in a different area so I just have to pick them up every single time but I realize that I don't really pick it up for my Depop because I end up keeping like every single one so I'm trying to be like not as selfish but I'm gonna be selfish for once I get into you guys this one because I think I am gonna keep this for myself and it's this BCBG one I've never seen like this pale of a pink of a color okay the exposure is ruining it but it's just so cute it definitely reminds me of like a milf like this is what a milf would wear the only thing is is it is a little bit dirty on the pockets but i think once i wash it it will be all good and i found or actually i didn't find it james found it and it's this juicy one so it's just this brown it's kind of like a tan and this is actually a i think a double xl which i have never yeah so this is a double xl you guys always tell me to pick up bigger sizes in the track suits so i found this one and this is i feel like a really good one like this is cute even the j i don't even have a track suit that has a j like this like this is a nice 
thick J like love the lettering on it and then the front yeah I think that's all that the front has and honestly you can go to any thrift store and find like just a regular nude um, velour pant like it doesn't have to be juicy and no one will know because the top is already pimped out and I found actually surprisingly a set it's this dark na dark navy it's this navy one and it's a uh, large honestly it's not like that cute it's cute it could be cuter but i just i don't know i loved the little crown on it i wish it was pink i think i just don't like navy that's what it is so if this was pink it would be so freaking cute and of course the front does have like the classic j on it and then the pants are literally the exact same they have the same crown on it speaking of bottoms i uh realized that i literally got none i don't know why it's kind of weird i usually get a lot of denim pants but this time i only got one and i think i'm gonna keep them for myself it just depends if they fit me or not it's these black calvin kleins again in the video earlier on in the video i said i always find levi's wranglers i think it's just because i always see it that i just didn't pick it up this time but these calvin kleins i had to have honestly they're just class they look like a classic mom fit i might just dress them i might even turn them into shorts but i don't have any good fitting pair of black jeans so i really hope these will fit and then i did find actually these amazing freaking dickies overalls i wish they fit me of course they're gonna be way too big what is the size on these i think the size on this is a large so this is probably a men's large and it's this amazing like pukey green color i'm all about this color and again it says dickies right there and then it has it in the back and i love like the contrast of this like isn't that so cute and then the last thing i found i hope it depending if it fits on me it's this tie-dye skirt and it's i don't know okay you guys are probably looking at this saying oh my god this is ugly and honestly if this was like a month ago i would say the same thing but i just thought like early 2000s mean girl imagine this with like a pink like some type of bitchy saying like tank top and then with some I don't know just funky jewelry some pink clips in your hair just make it like a mean girl in a movie and this skirt I'm all about this I don't know with a small little handbag I think this would be so cute typically I would never ever pick this up but the tie-dye even has hearts on it I mean come on like I had to get it I did end up getting a couple jackets which is like why are you doing that I literally was just talking about that it's like 90 degrees outside but a little tip i've talked about it before and um i feel like a lot of people don't agree with this but at least in my area i do i always shop like the opposite season so all of my fur coats everything that i've ever found i've usually only found like during the summer that's when i really look for all my really good winter coats because first off it's marked way cheaper like the other day i went to the thrift store and there was a fur coat there for like 30 dollars and i was like are you kidding me when i got them all for like 10 dollars so typically it's always cheaper i'm not really sure about that that my facts could be way off but at least for me and no one thinks to buy jackets you know in the summer so all the good ones are always out that's just a little tip i don't know why i just went on and on about that i'm just going to show you guys the jackets that i got but i don't know for example this one was at a regular goodwill this one was i can tell because it has like the tag on it and it was tossed because no one probably bought it because it's freaking hot outside and this is like the sickest little jacket it's kind of like a vinyl material but it has like that classic is this like crocodile print and i love it i hope this fits me this is a size let's see what size is this it's a size small so yeah even though it's definitely probably way too hot to be wearing this now i still think this is an amazing freaking look and it's just gonna be so cute for the winter and then i did find this a bomber jacket i love the back of this i'm not sure of the brand again the tag is not there i don't really like this on it so i will be putting it up on my depop i also did get a lot of sweatshirts too so that's something i also like to do but to be honest i don't really care what time of the year it is i wear sweatshirts all year round i mean you can wear it for those hot summer not hot those chilly summer nights like by the beach or something like that you know like over your bathing suit starting with this one i think this is so cute i might end up cropping it because it is like it has like little bits of dirt everywhere but it's not like 
that noticeably dirty but it says got bubbles and it's this pale pink and then on the side it has like the bubbles with the duck on it i just thought it was so freaking cute and i'm not sure of the brand yeah the tags ripped off but again so freaking cute i don't know it's like the little things that get me i love random sweatshirts like that i also got this grumpy one i I almost, this is like one of those things where I was like in line and then I was like, let me check the bins one more time. And then I found this and I was like, yes. It's kind of like this fleece material. Another Disney one I got, it's this a Disneyland one. I thought, how cool is that? Honestly, that is so sick. But the collar is like a little bit ripped off. I feel like someone did that on purpose though. And then the back just has all the classic Mickey and Friends. This is actually really cool. It kind of has like that vintage look to it. And then the front just says mickey in cursive the last sweatshirt i got is just this burgundy i think james might keep this depends if it fits him it's just this brewery one i don't know kind of cool i love finding anything like with alcohol teas alcohol sweatshirts you guys know i used to pick that up actually a ton back in the day and then the last thing that i got was just this chaps sweater it was the only sweater that i got nothing really special to it i just i don't know you guys always like when i pick up chaps so i picked that up and that's pretty much it for this entire haul again if you did see anything that you might like just message me and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video